the thing that we have here is the best radio show for personalities on the planet. While the countdown's on, we are less than an hour away from vacating the premises. Damn. These studios are done. <laughs> and then they, like, turn the buttons off and everything, right? I don't know. I, right? It's weird. If you frolic through the hallways, there's five other stations that are off. They're, mm -hmm. they're already uptown yeah. at our new studios. It's a ghost town. <sighs> Of old stinky chairs because yeah. DJs have smelly butts. <laughs> oh no! You no. sniffed the chairs. You walked around I didn't sniffing sniff the chairs. Anything. Smell them from across the road. It's God. nasty. If anyone knows uh, old DJ chairs, <laughs> 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 our friend Joey Reynolds is here. Hi, Joey. That's a toast town. <laughs> this place is toast. It is. <laughs> it is. Joey, I like it here. I love this state. I, I want to come here tomorrow, even when you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> you should. It'll finally have some personality once they. Maybe Minnesota. I'll have a career again. No. <laughs> they pushed me out. No, wait a minute. You know, what are you talking about? You know what I did all my life? I, I worked up towards this thing of being old, and it worked. I'm here. You are here. I'm Success. old. <laughs> but I was just telling Elvis in the other room, I go, oh my gosh, he's he's so cute, and he's so cuddly, and I love him so much. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know you're old when they call you cute and cuddly. Uh, <laughs> no, you know what? I'm, I'm embarrassed. The, uh, the thing that we have here is the best radio show for personalities on the planet, and the last one, there's no one else doing this. No one. Oh, and Aww. and the, what makes it work, besides the Honorable Elvis, is everybody around him is sensational because each of you have your own talent. And, you know, I don't know how I heart. They must have made a mistake. <laughs> 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 what Bob Pittman didn't know does he know you're here <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I need to explain to people listening Joey Joey Reynolds has been doing radio since the 60s don't say has been he has been doing and continues to do radio. Since, what's wrong, Nate? What are you doing? Okay. Uh, so you know, you you have worked in you have shut down many radio stations, but you oh, no wait. I've had forty jobs. So let's put this wow. online. But wait, if you're a stand-up comic, which I'm not, you know, you work in all these clubs. They never count those clubs. I've had you know Jerry Seinfeld. I've been in forty clubs in my life. You know, does he say that? No. I, I've had 40 jobs, and I, well, of course, I lost 40 jobs. <laughs> not a good thing. We're about to lose about 40 right here in this room. You know when I nailed my shoes at the door in Buffalo, right? You, what? I had the highest ratings in in the, in the country in the six. You know, I'm in the 60s. Right, 1960s. If you by can the way. think back, because I know this our our millennial generation does not like history, and uh, and I I will just say this that I was the number one disc jockey in America, like you are now. And I sat on the air in 65, 66, around then. And I kept winning all the Billboard Awards and everything. But the station had a telethon, and they paid stars to do the telethon. And I busted their chops because I got on the air and revealed that. You weren't supposed to say that. You know, I mean, everybody thought, oh, these stars are coming in here because they're going to be, they love our charity. It wasn't true. They were there because we were giving them 10 grand and a, and a case of booze. Really? And you totally, oh, wow. you totally outed them. I outed them. <laughs> and so the president of the company came and uh, into the studio and he says, you know, uh, uh, they're my friends. I said, well, pay me 10 grand. I'll be your friend too. You know, <laughs> I said, no, no. He said, he said, you're fired. I said, I don't work for you. I, I work for this other guy, the manager. He says, you're both fired. Oh, so, no. So, so I you nailed your shoes to the door? To his door, and I put, fill these, you a-hole. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. I'm going to I'm gonna have to borrow that. Yeah. You didn't know that? I'm going to have to borrow that, that idea. Okay, look. So Joey yeah. has brought a whole new, whole new side of his life into us today. If you can do it, and I think you can, Joey's Cheesecake is is known worldwide for being the best. Better than the world famous cheesecakes. Name the cheesecakes. The juniors of the world. Yeah, juniors, juniors, yeah, juniors yeah. is good. But this that, is a, that's, that's is an like... old person's cake. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> because I, I was at the feast of San Gennaro and we had about a million people in ten days. You talk about New York not making a comeback. That's a that's a mistake. Mm -hmm. So and they were all young. Because nobody wanted to go home at midnight. They wanted to drink and party. So, you know, that's not the old Italians. No. Uh, no. And, and, and so I, I found the audience there. I was there 12 hours every day for 10 days. Selling at cheesecake. Oliva. Well, yeah, and I was selling it by the slice. And so I got to talk to everybody or listen. You know, right now I'm talking a lot. 
but you know, too much coffee. But you know, uh, the cheesecake was a hit with young people because uh, the older people always say, "Give me a wedge," you know, or "I like that." Or, well, a sliver. But, but why do you say, why do you, why are you saying it's for old people? I, cheesecake is not for. No, old people. this is young. I'll tell you why because <laughs> the crust is different than oh. than the omelet. Well, it's got it, 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 Oh, it wait, has hold eggs on. They call, wait, hold on. They call the inside of a cheesecake the omelet? Yeah. I never knew that. Yes, yeah, it's got like, eggs. It's made with eggs. Look well, at never, the crust. Though. The never, crust Well, you should read the bottom of... of the box. Here's the ingredients. Oh, wow. the if you got time, the this cr- will give you a whole hour-long show to Holy read those. Crap, the crust reminds me of a deep-dish pizza Now, see, now that's not quiche. being cut properly. No, 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 no. Nate, you have totally desecrated this cheesecake. Nate massacred that. Nate, what the hell? The whole thing is, it's all falling apart. I'm leaving. So okay, no, so I didn't know there's a cheesecake vernacular here. There's the inside of the cheesecake is the omelet. omelet yeah. The outside is the crust. crust. Now it's, you know the New York cheesecake does not have a crust. See, I like crust. Yeah, well, that's why Junior's doesn't have a crust. They've just got a little a little sprinkling on the yeah, side. I, I like the old man. He was great in Brooklyn. You know, this is made in Brooklyn. Well, I, I, I wish I could have some, but Nate just ruined the whole thing. I can't cut it, apparently. Nate, oh, come, he, come no, I'm t- only joking. Come on. Come Nate. cut the cake. <laughs> cut the cheese. Okay, so, we, we, the okay cheese. look, here's something we learned. I want, I want to bring this full circle here, Joey. Uh, the pandemic really turned people into the side hustle people that we love. For instance, during pandemic, Gandhi started making art and selling art. Yes, she's I now, did. She's selling her Use art. your hand. Joey, she's selling her art for thousands of dollars a piece, and it became as it was a side hustle from pandemic. Now you're doing your side hustle, cheesecakes. Well, I want to make money. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell else are you going to make money? You can't do it. You know, we're in a, I'm not an investor. I'm not a stockholder at iHeart. But why did you decide? Wait, but why did you decide cheesecake was the way to go? Because it's the only thing I know. I don't. Okay. I have no talent. <laughs> So, no, it, uh, really, speak, well, speak no, on Well, no, I mean, I don't do sing. You... I was with Les Paul. You know, I did stand up with him every week, and he would answer the phone to get me off stage. So... Uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> oh I, I no, he said, you have no musical ability. You don't have any, you have no sense of yourself. So, uh, you know, why don't you go home? No, uh, Joey. with Joey. Okay, let me tell you something. When I used to drive in from Jersey, uh, an hour drive, <laughs> it, it, in the middle of the night, Joey Reynolds on WOR had the most entertaining, wonderful show like the this. way like this well and i appreciate that but i'm talking about you right now you're you have a way of connecting with people that is it, you can't even describe it, how he does it i'm talking third person now yeah. <laughs> joey just does that he's got that magic you, you, give, them, to, you give them money uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? it's called new york it's a tip and the thing another thing i have to eat with a knife because we don't have yeah. another thing joey is it, this I, is I all wanna, wrong this i don't want to say wrong i don't want to say joey is self-deprecating he's more self-defecating he craps all over himself all the time <laughs> not literally but you, you really you really just you humble yourself out well not not only literally it depends <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> mm. Mm. Now, isn't that good? And I taste that lemon in there. Now, here, no, it's it's key lime. Oh. Now, the secret, oh the secret is the second bite, not the first one. All right, hold on. Now, but have the crust. The crust is... I'm eating with a knife, Joey. The, see, it, guys it, like the crust, and the women like the cream. Is it... Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Joey. Is that graham really? cracker? It's like graham. graham it's, it's not graham cracker. Mm. It's graham grain. It's the grain. Oh. But, you know, the cracker oh would then have to be something. Now, isn't that good? That's so good. Yeah. So that's so I said, okay, everybody likes this cake, but they're all young people. And I'm what the hell am I doing hanging around with all these old timers my age? I mean, we're too old for you, actually. <laughs> we, we're, we're, the, the average age in this room is much older than who loves you the most. Uh, I, the I love, I love uh, you know, I got five grandchildren, and they're all like you. So I'm, they're the gift that keeps on taking. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Sounds right. <laughs> I have these wonderful children. And and they all they don't care about a lot of things that I I thought they would care about. And you got to live the way they're living. So I'm a bridge, you know. I, I have that young spirit, and I have the old experience. And I hate the old experience because I think it's over. And I and I like being new every day. How much are we learning? I, a lot so from much. Joey Reynolds. We're I learning know. that I did 28 years of yoga, Bikram Ooh, yoga. That helps. Did you? <laughs> oh, God, he's- Stretches like a pretzel. What? <laughs> but before we move further further with this, I want you to do a search for Joey Reynolds cheesecakes. That's all you have to search for, okay? Joey Reynolds cheesecakes, mm-hmm. and it's right there. You can figure out what to click and how to order them. Order them. They're not cheap. No, because yeah. it costs a lot to make a great cheesecake. Make an offer. <laughs> no, really, that key lime, the flavor of the key lime in there is amazing. 
But it, it was as much cream as in this, or che- cream cheese. No. I could down it with a glass of cold milk. No, no, actually. no. Yes, See, I could. Th- this is the dif- difference of this cake and New York cake. What? The New York, I had a contest with all of the people who were making cheesecakes in New York. I had, at the time, the Carnegie was open. Sardi's was open. You know, every single one of them. I had uh, uh, Junior's was there. Uh, Lindy's. I had five different kinds of cheesecake, and this cake won. Until the guy who bought Carnegie came over to the table and he said, you cannot win what? because there is a hair in the in your cake. Oh. oh. So I said, wow. You know, I, I looked and I said, it's blonde. I, I made this cake. How do I have a blonde hair in my cake? So now I'm, I'm suspicious. So weeks later, <laughs> my picture is in the Carnegie <laughs> Deli, right, yes. on the wall. And I signed it. I said, winner of the best cheesecake in New York, Carnegie Deli. You won by a hair. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and that's another thing about Jory Reynolds cheesecake. There's a hair in every bite. Yeah, yay! <laughs> uh, by the way, you have a cookbook, the ultimate cheesecake cookbook. I noticed. Did you know that on Amazon? I, oh, yeah, I do know that. Okay. St. <laughs> Martin's <laughs> Press. Very holy. It's a holy book. <laughs> hey, did we get Froggy back? Is Froggy back? No, not yet. No. Uh, we unplugged. We're. They're so anxious to kick us out of the building. They're unplugging people. Yeah. Oh, geez. It's oh, like life guys, support beam. This is a beautiful studio here. <laughs> well, we've pretty much ruined it. Why don't you just stay and nail your shoes to the door? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we may have to. Uh, yeah. Joey, I just for many different reasons, it's so great to have you here. Thank you. And. Um, I know, I'll get out of here now. No, we're all going to be We're going to be out of here before you are, I bet. Race, the, the race to the door is on. But Joey, uh, I cannot thank you enough for all of the years that you've entertained me and, and all of the people that are oh, from no New York, because you are New York, you know? And uh, thank you so much. And But the cheesecake is just a little sliver of the life of this amazing man. And thank you for the, making before, this feel before good. Before we leave, I want to, uh, let's go to the latest. The latest is Uber now has a robot to deliver food. Yes. You know that? And that robot, here's how you get your food. It arrives at your door, if it can make it there in New York. Yeah. And when it gets to your door, you you have to open the combination with your phone. And then you can take your food. Now, just the, the mind reels at this. Imagine this thing, this robot, delivering this cheesecake. And you can't get in there. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I like this idea at all. In New York, you're going to beat the crap you gotta out of the robot. you got to take out the robot. Oh, that's yeah. right. You know we, we all, we all want to be Joey Reynolds when we grow up. And, this, yeah. and this, this, these girls that you have here, uh-huh. these beautiful young ladies. They are, aren't they? Their personalities on the air. I was listening this morning, and I want to replace you. <laughs> hey, guess what? Joey! I, I, I want you to. I have no problem with that. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you so much, no, Joey. Won't. I love you. Joey You're Reynolds. Great. Again, do the search. Joey Reynolds Cheesecake.